Welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry that it's been so long since I last posted. I've just kind of not been that motivated recently to post anything. I did film two videos like a week or two ago and when it came to editing them, they just weren't the best. I just kept watching them and I was like, nah, I'm not liking it. Today's video is another review surprise surprise remember when i went to primark like about a month ago and i got that aladdin eyeshadow palette and you guys seem to have loved it um it is one of the most viewed videos on my channel at the moment i said that i was either gonna do that palette or the Minnie mouse palette and because aladdin was coming out so soon because it's just recently come out um i thought i'd try the aladdin one but today we're back with another review and that is of the Minnie mouse palette so this one is filled with a lot more mattes again the back just states it's still got the plastic on i only got it yesterday but the back still states just like squares of what they are let's just take the plastic off So this comes with 12 shades and like I said the majority of them are matte, they are really really nice and um, this one also just comes with a little mirror that the Aladdin palette didn't have, comes with two highlighters in a little drawer at the bottom so really good. Now, on here it does say that it is £10, however when I did go up to the till it was reduced to 5 wow. Get it while it's still on offer, you might be surprised. Also, I've got a fringe, half of it's up here though because it, I've got huge curtains going on right now so the only way to make it look somewhat okay is this. So bear with me. I'm only going to Ikea today. I think the look we're going to do today because there is a lot of dark shades and I'm really liking this like cranberry red colour down here. I'm going to try them all out. I think I'm going to go for like a grungy kind of look because I'm in love with this cranberry colour down here. I don't have names on whereas the Aladdin palette did have it. It's super cute. I tried on highlight palette so I've already done my base. I've not put any highlighter on. I've only done just the norm and we're gonna try this out first let we're going to swatch them all so i'm just gonna get these two first colors so they are very creamy so the first one we've got is kind of like a base one now i am a bit tanned so you can't really see that coming up but the colors they're very pigmented i'd say the these ones are a lot pigmented than the Aladdin ones so far. So I'll do all the mattes first. They're actually quite pigmented and I always do think it's a lot easier for matte colours to be made rather than shimmers. Now we're going to go on to the shimmers. So you do get four shimmers. So first of all, we'll start with this red one. We'll pop these on the hand. And then you've got brown. You've got kind of like a light pink. And then you've got like a champagne pink as well. Now these are actually pretty good to be fair. I really like that champagne pink that we've got going on here. Um, I think that pink you might have to have like a little couple of swirls. It's that one there. But overall, these are really good, especially for the price. So... So far, I'm in love with it. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this palette out. I think we're gonna go in with this kind of like tan orange color at the top. Just an M433 brush and the color goes on pretty well to be fair. So, oh my God, I'm still getting used to a fringe. So people, please, if you know how to style a fringe, Hit me up, please, it's so annoying. I can't get it how my hairdresser did it and it's really bugging me. 
this brown is going on really nice obviously just building it up but that has gone on that is super pigmented i'm really loving that this is like blending out so easy as well like what So this kind of tan colour reminds me of the like darker brown you get in the Too Faced Peach palette. So if you are looking for something a lot cheaper, this is your option. Yeah, we're gonna go into the other eye. I don't know what that black smudge is there, but I'm just on the same brush. I'm gonna go in with this pink colour here the middle one i'm just gonna start building up the pink because i think i'm gonna because uh, i'm wanting to use that really nice dark cranberry shade so we just start blending that through God, that is so pigmented i am in love and also sorry if you can hear now it's next door are uh, having their driveway done we're having our kitchen done so as soon as that's done get ready for more like baking videos i'm gonna do so many more baking videos and i'm so excited i'm a woman of many skills what can i say i flipped my fringe so many times i'm gonna have to keep count I think I'm just going to use all one brush today, um, just because they're all kind of similar colours to go in with and they're very pigmented so I don't really need to go in with much. I think I'm just going to add a little bit of this brown here, just smoke it up a tad. Sometimes this is where I find it difficult with like a really cheap eyeshadow palette just because sometimes it doesn't take well there to that side of my eye. I have to push my fringe back and I probably look like I've got really bad hair. But I don't know how people with fringes do this on a daily basis. This is looking really nice at the moment, as you can see. Like I said, colour doesn't take too well there, but it's not too shabby at the moment. Wow. I am impressed to be fair since i did the aladdin palette i actually haven't gone back to it since because there's not that many shades in there that are matte that you can use it's all glitters and i never ever use glitters especially in the crease i only use them like on the inner third and then we're gonna take another m433 brush and we're now just gonna take this lovely cranberry shade right at the bottom and i'm just gonna take it really lightly because i'm gonna start just slowly packing it on just because i don't want it to be too in your face if that makes sense can i just put it all over the lid because it's really nice these colors complement each other so well they're so nice and i do have to say the fallout doesn't there isn't any i mean we can we might say different for the glitter but we'll have to see but wow oh my god i have not done like a look like this in a long long time so this is so fun Okay, so I'm just going to take all the colours that I use. I'm going to start my eye go backwards. So the darkest colour I use, I always put on first. But we'll just start with that. This is a really nice cranberry colour though. I'm in love with this at the moment. Wow, this is probably my favourite colour of the whole palette at the moment. You see, a little bit of fallout there, but not much. And I'm just gonna get a little bit of powder now. Still have some, but like, a lot left over. This is the Makeup Revolution powder, uh, banana powder. Okay, so, sometimes what I find with fallout is that even if you use powder, it still stays. And obviously you never want that, but this is going pretty good. I've got some up there, but it's literally just 
a bag under my eye and it's so annoying and ugly and okay so i'm just gonna go in with mascara so for that like always maybelline lash sensational as you can see it's kind of a bit like it's not taking all the color on the inner third and it's just a little bit patchy there but what do you expect from a five pound eyeshadow kit from Primark. I'm just gonna apply a bit of Coralista blush um, just with the M405 brush. So we're now gonna try the highlighters. Ooh. Okay, we first need to take the plastic off that so it is removable. So you come with two really cute highlighters. You got a pinky shade and a more golden shade. Um, they both again seem very powdery but creamy. They're really pretty. You all know I like my more brighter shades to blind people. So we're gonna go for that and just start applying it. Well, that's not actually too bad. It's nice and like in in person, it's like nice and subtle. It looks really pretty. Like on camera, it looks really dramatic, but in person, it's so subtle. And it's just like a really nice everyday highlighter. I'm gonna do the tip of the nose. Ooh, that looks really nice. Just adds a little something something to the face face if you know what i mean literally just add something that's that's what i mean <gasps> wow i'm in love we're gonna go in just with a nice cute little lip combo so i'm taking ofra cosmetics in the shade i can't remember it's the one that nikki tutorials brought out and it's really nice and then Fenty Gloss, like always. So overall, it gives such a nice, like, natural look. Um, definitely the highlighter, it just brightens up the face just that little bit, but keeps it really natural. Um, obviously, in some places, it hasn't taken as well, but that's kind of just what happens to me when I use eyeshadows anyway. But overall, this is such a great palette. It's so affordable, and it's two in one why wouldn't you want it it's got great colors it's got beautiful highlighters i do say that the gold one is just that little bit less pigmented than the pinker one um but yeah and it comes with a little mirror so it's great compact a fiver so yeah definitely definitely 10 out of 10 recommended so on a scale of one to five with five being really good and one zero being really bad I'd say for Fallout, it's a four just because if you do use a darker shade, it does just fall out a little bit, but that happens with pretty much every dark shade that you ever use. For how blendable it is, it's a five out of five because it just blends out so well and so nice. For pigment, it's definitely a five out of five. Every shade in there is just so pigmented as you could tell by the swatches as well as it on my eyes then what we're gonna do is i'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day and see how well it lasts three hours later well so it has currently been like four hours and this is the update as you can see it's still stayed on really well obviously like i said before it's still very patchy here and just here but overall it's a really good eyeshadow palette, so I definitely recommend it. The next day. Hi guys, so it is 24 hours later after I used the eyeshadow, so it's just kind of a quick update. And yes, this is what my hair looks like with a full fringe. Um, yeah, so I've basically just woken up and I got in the shower last night and washed my makeup off of that and makeup remover. The only thing I'd say about the eyeshadows is that it can stain, like the darker colours can stain just a little bit um, here, still just a bit purple. However, you get that from a lot of colours. I know you get that in like the pink and the James Charles palette um, and a lot of other colours. So it's still a really good and well pigmented palette and I definitely recommend it. Just make sure that you wash it off fully. That's all I can say. Yeah. It's really, 
really good so guys that is the end of the video if you have enjoyed it then please give it a huge thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below so you never miss a post and also the notification bell so you are notified when i post also comment below and tell me what you think and if you like reviews if you want me to do more reviews um what you'd like to see on my channel like i said i will be doing some more cooking videos very soon i'll be introducing that onto my channel so maybe that's just like a certain day who knows um but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video and go follow me on all my social medias i will leave that linked down below as well as well as my instagram and tiktok don't use it but come follow me I might start using it um and yeah i will see you next week bye